Hi guys, so in this lesson, we are going to be learning how to add fractions that have the same or a common denominator. But before we get started, there are a few terms that you will need to know to help make this lesson feel easier and more understandable. So first, what you're gonna want to know is what this bottom number or this two is called. So this number is called the denominator. So the denominator um, is simply the bottom number that is found in a fraction. Now, if we look to the top, we will see a one and this number, sorry guys, I'm still learning how to use this program. This number, or this one, is called the numerator. And the numerator is the top number in our fraction. So this fraction can either be called one half or one over two. And that is how we can name fractions. So for this lesson, you will just need to try and remember that the top number is called the numerator and the bottom number is called the denominator. All right, let's get started. So what I am going to do first is I'm gonna set up um, a little visual here for you just to hopefully make this a little easier. And my first fraction Hi. that I am Hi. going to work with to is going to be called so far, four over six. And the other fraction I'm going to be working so with is one four. over six. So now that I have set up this visual, I just want to point out that you will notice in my visual there are one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. And you will also notice that my denominator is six. So that was purposefully done like that to help us easily um, see what we are doing with these fractions. So before I do anything though with, add, with um, adding these fractions, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a box around each of my denominators, which in this case is six. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a box around each of my numerators, which in this case is four in the first fraction and one in the second fraction. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade in four boxes on my first visual because I have four sixths or four of my six boxes shaded. In my second visual, I only have one sixth or one of my six boxes shaded. So now that I have set up my problem and I have my visual, I can go ahead and add. So one really important thing to know when we are adding fractions, this denominator never changes after we um, let me rephrase. This denominator, if it is the same, which it is in our problem, does not change. So our denominator is going to stay six. And then what we can do is we can add four plus one 
and that gives us five. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do over here is just show you why that works. So this works because if you look in our first one, we have our first visual, we have one, two, three, four boxes shaded. In our second visual, we have one box shaded. And we know that four plus one is going to be five, which means we should have five of our six box shaded. So we can call this five sixths or five over six. So thank you for listening guys.